This is the potentially the most powerful alliance of 2024 so far. Ibrahim Traore's recognition by King Mohammed VI of Morocco holds profound significance for both Burkina Faso and the broader African diplomatic landscape. The endorsement not only underscores the strong partnership between Morocco and Burkina Faso but also highlights the importance of African leadership in addressing regional challenges. Since the recent events in Burkina Faso, your presence in the country has been a source of great joy and inspiration. Despite misconceptions about Burkina Faso being an unvisited and war-torn nation, your visit signifies a positive change in perception. The negative stereotypes associated with Burkina Faso, portraying it as a land of bloodshed and conflict, are being challenged by your visit and the positive interactions you've experienced in the country. Africans, including yourself, have the opportunity to serve as ambassadors of the true spirit of Burkina Faso, a nation that is welcoming and rich in culture. Your interactions with the people of Burkina Faso and the warm reception you have received in cities like Bobo Dioulasso and Ouagadougou send a powerful message of friendship and unity. It is through these personal experiences and connections that misconceptions about Burkina Faso can be dispelled, paving the way for greater understanding and cooperation. The formal expression of support from King Mohammed VI for Traore, Burkina Faso's dynamic leader, represents a significant milestone in African diplomacy. This endorsement, conveyed during the Morocco-Burkina Faso Joint Cooperation Commission session, signifies Morocco's commitment to working closely with Burkina Faso on shared goals and initiatives. The historical ties between Morocco and Burkina Faso have been characterized by mutual respect and collaboration, rooted in a shared vision for Africa's advancement. Both nations have championed South-South cooperation and intra-African partnerships as key drivers of progress on the continent. President Ibrahim Traore's advocacy for regional integration and stability aligns well with Morocco's diplomatic objectives, making him a natural ally in advancing shared interests. In the context of the Sahel region, marred by extremism and instability, the endorsement of Traore by King Mohammed VI takes on added significance. The Sahel's challenges have drawn international attention, with efforts focused on restoring peace and fostering development. Morocco's strategic engagement in the region underscores its commitment to promoting stability and supporting leaders like TR who are dedicated to addressing the complex issues facing the Sahel. By endorsing Traore, King Mohammed VI sends a clear message of support for African-led solutions to African problems. This endorsement not only boosts TR's credibility and standing but also signals Morocco's readiness to collaborate with Burkina Faso on security, economic development, and regional stability initiatives. It sets a positive tone for future ties between the two nations, emphasizing the value of cooperation and solidarity in advancing the interests of Africa as a whole. Through your experiences and interactions in Burkina Faso, you have become a living testament to the warmth and hospitality of the country. Your role as an ambassador of this message of friendship and unity will help reshape perceptions and foster greater understanding between nations. As Burkina Faso and Morocco move forward in their partnership, guided by shared values and aspirations, the endorsement of Traore serves as a testament to the power of collaboration and collective action in shaping a brighter future for the continent. King Mohammed VI's endorsement holds significance that reaches far beyond mere bilateral relations. It serves as a testament to Morocco's proactive stance in supporting African leadership and initiatives, especially evident in the Sahel Alliance spearheaded by Ibrahim Traore. This alliance provides a crucial framework for coordinating efforts to tackle the multifaceted challenges that plague the Sahel region. By endorsing Traore, King Mohammed VI underscores the importance of collaborative endeavors and shared responsibilities among African nations. This historic endorsement mirrors a broader trend in African diplomacy where regional powers are increasingly assuming leadership roles to address continental issues. Morocco's backing of Traore sends a strong message to the international community about the value of African-led solutions emphasizing the necessity for external partners to respect and support initiatives emerging from within Africa. The impact of this endorsement on the political dynamics in the Sahel region is profound. The Sahel, known for its extremist activities, political instability, and economic hurdles, stands to benefit significantly from the support of Morocco, a stable and influential North African nation. 
this backing bolsters Traore's standing both domestically and internationally, showcasing confidence in his leadership and his strategies for tackling challenges within Burkina Faso and the broader Sahel region. For Morocco, this move cements its status as a key player in African diplomacy, using its political and economic clout to foster stability and cooperation. Domestically, Traore's leadership, characterized by efforts to unify a diverse nation, address security concerns, stimulate economic growth, and promote social cohesion, receives a boost in legitimacy from Morocco's endorsement. This endorsement not only reinforces Traore's standing among African leaders but also aligns with Morocco's foreign policy objectives of strengthening intra-African ties and enhancing regional stability. Economically, the Morocco-Burkina Faso alliance holds significant implications. Both nations have shown a strong commitment to bolstering bilateral cooperation, particularly in economic realms. This endorsement paves the way for deeper economic ties and collaboration between the two countries, fostering opportunities for growth, trade, and mutual prosperity. King Mohammed VI's endorsement of Traore transcends mere diplomatic gestures. It symbolizes a shared commitment to African-led solutions, regional stability, and economic cooperation, setting the stage for enhanced collaboration and unity across the continent. This partnership delves into the commercial domain, grounded in the belief that economic progress is indispensable for fostering enduring peace and stability. Morocco's backing of Ibrahim Traoré is poised to unlock fresh opportunities for economic synergy. Given Morocco's diverse and burgeoning economy, it can offer valuable assistance to Burkina Faso across various sectors like agriculture, transport, and infrastructure. The recent joint communication from the Morocco-Burkina Faso session underscored key areas of collaboration spanning security training, agriculture, food safety, water, and health. For Burkina Faso, this collaboration presents avenues to harness Morocco's expertise and resources to propel economic expansion and progress. The focus on South-South cooperation underscores the significance of constructing resilient, interconnected, and mutually supportive economies. By strengthening economic bonds, both nations can strive towards poverty reduction, elevated living standards, and sustainable developmental pathways. A pivotal arena of concentration in this economic partnership is agriculture. With Burkina Faso's extensive arable land and agricultural potential, it stands to gain substantially from Morocco's knowledge and technology in this field. Collaborative initiatives can pave the way for refined agricultural practices, heightened productivity, and bolstered food security. Morocco's assistance in crafting sustainable agricultural systems can aid Burkina Faso in attaining self-sufficiency, thereby amplifying its agricultural exports. Infrastructure development stands out as another crucial facet where this alliance can yield substantial advantages. Leveraging Morocco's advanced infrastructure capabilities encompassing transport and logistics can assist Burkina Faso in enhancing connectivity and access to regional and global markets. Investments in infrastructure projects such as roads, railways, and ports can streamline trade and commerce, propelling economic growth and development. In the realms of health and education, the partnership between Morocco and Burkina Faso holds promise for enhanced healthcare services and educational prospects. Morocco's proficiency in healthcare delivery and medical training can fortify Burkina Faso's healthcare infrastructure, enhancing service provisions. Similarly, educational exchanges and collaborations can contribute to capacity building and human resource development in Burkina Faso. King Mohammed VI's endorsement of Ibrahim Traoré also signifies a dedication to fostering inclusive and sustainable economic growth. Both nations acknowledge the significance of addressing social disparities and ensuring that economic advancements benefit all segments of society. This shared vision can steer their joint endeavors towards creating opportunities for marginalized communities, advocating for gender equality, and nurturing social inclusion. The impact of this endorsement on security and stability in the region is paramount. Security remains a pressing concern for both Morocco and Burkina Faso, particularly within the Sahel region. King Mohammed VI's endorsement of Ibrahim Traoré sends a robust signal about the imperative of regional collaboration in tackling security challenges. 
both nations reaffirm their commitment to upholding peace and stability on the African continent, with a specific focus on the Sahel region. Morocco's active participation in counter-extremism efforts and stability promotion in the Sahel underscores its dedication to these causes. This includes providing training and backing to security forces and engaging in diplomatic endeavors aimed at conflict resolution. By endorsing Ibrahim Traore, Morocco aligns with its overarching strategy of bolstering regional leaders committed to these objectives. For Burkina Faso, this translates into tangible support in the form of security cooperation and resources. Their joint resolve to combat extremism and address humanitarian crises accentuates the importance of unified action. Through collaborative efforts, Morocco and Burkina Faso can enhance their capacities to tackle security threats, safeguard their populace, and nurture a stable environment. In a prosperous region, a key aspect of security cooperation lies in capacity building. Leveraging Morocco's expertise in security training can bolster Burkina Faso's security forces, enhancing their responsiveness to threats. Joint training initiatives, intelligence sharing, and operational support can elevate the effectiveness of security operations and foster regional security cooperation. Beyond military collaboration, the partnership between Morocco and Burkina Faso can address the root causes of insecurity. This entails promoting economic development, enhancing governance, and mitigating social inequalities, thereby tackling underlying factors that fuel instability. By fostering a conducive environment for peace and stability, both nations can make significant strides. Humanitarian challenges present another critical frontier for this partnership to make an impact. The Sahel region grapples with displacement, food insecurity, and humanitarian crises. Morocco's support in addressing these issues can offer vital relief to affected communities, bolstering regional stability. Looking ahead, the endorsement of Ibrahim Traoré by King Mohammed VI sets the stage for a new era of Morocco-Burkina Faso relations and broader regional cooperation. Founded on mutual respect and shared objectives, this partnership has the potential to drive progress across various domains, from economic development to security. A key focus will be the African Continental Free Trade Area AFCFTA, aiming to unify the continent's market. Both nations' commitment to this initiative underscores its potential to enhance economic growth. By collaborating, they can play a pivotal role in shaping intra-African trade and cooperation, fostering unity and solidarity essential for overcoming continental challenges. Traore's leadership in Burkina Faso has been notable for emphasizing self-sufficiency and critiquing aid dependency, aligning with a vision for sustainable development. Drawing parallels to past leaders like Thomas Sankara, Traore's policies echo a drive towards a prosperous and autonomous Burkina Faso. Embracing diverse partnerships, including with Russia, showcases a pragmatic approach to navigating geopolitical complexities and fostering national development. Traore's initiatives span agricultural enhancement, economic reforms, security strengthening, and infrastructure development, all aimed at propelling Burkina Faso forward. His efforts have garnered recognition from influential figures like the King of Morocco, signaling growing support for his leadership and vision. The question of whether Traore is Africa's best leader in recent years remains open to interpretation, with his proactive stance on development and collaboration setting a positive trajectory for the region's future. Thanks for watching till the end. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like as well as a sub so more people can see this.